Hello and welcome back to Super Mario 64 with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Poogie. So, um, I'm going to take a break from some of the main levels in this game to, um, not punch sword, thankfully. No, I want to actually, um, see if I can get a secret star. Some toads do give you secret stars within Peach's castle. And that's not the only one speaking of secret stars, because one of these uh, portraits actually gives us a way into getting one of them. However, we have to find out which one, and I think it's this one on the right. Uh, but I need to time Mario's jumps correctly to do so. I thought it was the one on the left. Nope, it's not the one on the left, because that just gives us a one-up, but... Well needed, in fact, with this game, given some of the later levels, but I'll get to them later. For now, I am going to try and get up here into this area. And we will emerge in this rather weird room, seriously. Even plays the uh, Jolly Roger Bay music, or Dry Dry, or Die Die Docks music as well. So yes, it is quite relaxing. However... This being a 3D Mario game, it means Mario, as I mentioned in the previous episode, can drown. So you want to collect as many coins as you can. Uh, the, the goal to get the secret star is to get all of the red coins. Four of them are on the floor of the room. So yeah, and they heal quite a bit of Mario's health, so that isn't too much of a problem. Um, I usually like to go over the ones on the bottom first. Just to get them out of the way before going on the top. For reasons you will see in a moment, I think. So I already got one along the top. However, there is one more in the, I think the right hand corner from whence I was going to go. And you can actually see it in the distance. Uh, Super Mario 64 doesn't have great drop distance. But um, yeah, the other ones are located above. Which is why I had to keep pausing the game just to make sure. And then swim up here. And believe it or not, you, get, you can actually see where the red coins are in this room. Seriously. Not so much in a certain other mission we will be doing very soon in this game. But we'll get to that later. Uh, so yeah. Fibus in Mario is a lot easier with the Joy-Cons than it is with the... Uh, Certainly the old N64 controller. I haven't tried it with the N64 controller that Nintendo released with the Switch, uh, given when they started uploading the um, N64 games to the Switch Online service. I had to give it a thing there. I almost said eShop. You know, the eShop has been closed for ages now. Shame, because I liked it a lot more than uh, Switch Online. You will not also note now there's a beam of light coming from the ceiling. And indeed, um, that gives us our first power-up in the game. Yes, there are power-ups. There may not be any fire flowers or the like, but we uh, do get some power-ups. First up is the wing cap, which allows Mario to fly for a short period of time. And yeah, um, there are two things we can do. Get a secret star by getting all of the red cars, which... It's a lot harder than in the previous area, seriously. Um, the other thing of note is to find the red switch, which will give us the power to use the wing cap in various levels. So yeah. Though, to be honest, Mario's flying power with the wing cap is kind of more like a glide than anything else. So yeah. And the other thing of note that I don't like about the wing cap is that Mario, um, you can only see what is above you, not beneath you. So yeah, not great, but again, this game was released in the mid-90s. Let me remind you, uh, we do. Um, so yeah, I still consider it a great 3D Mario game and a great 3D platformer, even if I did die there. Uh, you, seemingly you don't lose a life though, if you do uh, do that, so yeah. Um, uh, the easiest way would be to follow the trail of coins. The only downside of that is that uh, you have to keep Mario steady and that's not easy even with the Joy-Cons in play and everything. And there's no way to go back if you do fall off. I say it took me about a fair few attempts. I, I think I did use save states here as well. 
uh, just to make it be easier for myself. Indeed, I did because um, controlling Mario while he's flying is pretty hard. Seriously, pretty hard indeed because of how he goes. And especially with the turns, seriously. Honestly, I prefer the swimming controls in this game. I mean, they're not like Majora's Mask level or Spyro 2 level good, but at least they're decent, I'll give them that. And yes, the main reason I'm reloading my save states is because of the uh, uh, the position here of Mario. I want to get it, maybe not 100% correct, but certainly mostly correct, so he will fly through each of the coin rings decently enough. I don't have to do, I don't have to say directly through them, but yeah. It doesn't help also that he starts the level by flying down towards the platform where the red switch was. So yeah, that's not great. And no, I do not want to try and turn around in the air. As I said, turning is terrible with this game. It's even worse with the N64 controller back in 1996-1997. So no, I do not want to do it with this one. At least I can say this, this is probably one of my favourite remixes of the uh, invisibility theme at least. And this one carries through to... Um, well, I think it debuted actually in Yoshi's Island on the... Um, on the snares, but um, this is the most well-known version of of the invincibility thing with the string, with the added, I guess, violins and everything. Other than that, well, I'm completely missing again. What the hell, man? Well, never mind that. Um, yeah, the um, wasn't even close there. Keep it, that in mind for a later mission. Also in Bob on Battlefield, I think I do do it in this one. If not in this one, then in the next one. I'm not entirely sure because of how Mario behaves. I think I probably did stop playing this game because of that. Seriously. Just about got that one, so yay. And yeah, Mario also seems to slowly float downwards with the wing cap. Which, as I say, isn't too bad, but uh, keep in mind that this is a limited power-up. I say that now. And somehow I did get the uh, star to appear. Now to just land on the platform before my power runs out. That was actually quite good! Anyway, that being said, um, there's the uh, hidden star for um, the wing cap stage. And with that, let's see, I think I will go back to Bob on Battlefield now that I do have the wing cap. And uh, try and get through there. So yes, um, the level is uh, not... Actually, finally eight red coins, why don't I do that one? Anyway, I've already activated the cannon, so that's not too bad. And then shoot him into the sky and whatnot. And, um, yeah. And jump. Run up the thing there and fall down, yay. I suck. And then, what I want to do is, somewhat in the thing over the thing, is very hard to do with that second cannon, to be fair. Uh, but, can be done, but I'm not very good at it, to be fair. Um, so, um, what we want to do is aim for the island, light again, um, and aim for the tree, where you can see where one of the red coins actually is. I completely miss, seriously. I don't know if I did save there, so... Oh, never mind. And yeah, you can actually see where, as I, like with the other stages, where the red coins are. But never mind, let's shoot ourselves out of the cannon. And then land here. No, I do not want Mario to go hit his head against the wall, and that, that does happen. 
That does actually happen in the Super Mario 64. So, once again, this is about precision, I guess. So, believe it or not, I want to aim as low as possible. Yeah, I know that's weird, but I do. And with that, open up the thing and get the uh, wing cap. And then, once again, uh, go inside that cannon once I've finished my save there. And fly through each of the coin rings. This time, um, they are all pointing upwards and we have to fly through the middle of each of them. Like, uh, yeah, seriously. So I fl flew through three of them. It doesn't matter if all of the coins in the middle disappear, that doesn't matter really. Um, what matters is getting all of the coins in the middle. That's all that matters. The coins around doesn't really matter. Um, putting the camera behind Mario is a pain, but what do you expect here, seriously? Other than that, uh, Mario can actually start uh, flying if you do a triple jump. I don't know if I want to do it with him here, but, uh, yeah. And we should get through all the coins, uh, yeah. The star itself will appear near the Goombas, um, in the little garden down here. Which actually is mentioned in Super Mario Odyssey. Anyway, that's that for this episode. I will see you on the next one. Goodbye!